Previously on Nino Kuni 2. We finally decide on a banner for our kingdom to create a place without war or fighting. Though an unrealistic goal, Roland humors it anyway and we head off to the library at Goldpot to find out more about this world. <laughs> Once there, however, we are stopped by the librarian Bodley and are asked to do three tasks for her before being allowed to look at the books. And so, we run around the realm accomplishing Bodley's trials. Alright, welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. Um, what we're we doing again? Oh, go and pick a red, red rose. Right, we were doing the the library missions. Or, oh, this is a bit zoomed in. Okay, there we go. And apparently we have to do it over there in the star thing. So let's go somewhere closer and start from there. Um, is it that is it that giant glowing orb in the sky? Oh no, Inferna. All right, that's <laughs> I got I got juked <laughs> by a level 14 skeleton. <laughs> anyway, yes, time to get my fight Nino Kuni legs back in. It's been a while once again. Ha! Ah, juke you. Ah, uh, nope. All right, seems to we seem to be doing all right. Okay, that, that's some good warm up. Anyway, now that we weren't so rudely interrupted. What? Magmagu. Oh, Magmagu. Is this a. Th oh, come on. Alright, so I. Actually, I've always thought that the way to get up here was via here. Like, steps would appear in this place, but. Apparently, that's not it. So I guess we need to go around then, huh? Oh, well, that's gonna be a pain. Hang on, be right back. Okay, so I completely misread the book. The skill was called bridge, so I should have looked for this bridge looking thing first. The place where Bodley said the rose would be is just beyond here, isn't it? That's right, man. That's it, my boy. And if I've ever stood somewhere and thought, where is the flipping path? It's flipping missing. It's by year. You're right. Uh, A? Yeah, okay. Get in, you little be- Oh, it's not just a bridge, it's a landmass. I thought it would be a wooden bridge or something. Alright. Um, do we want to do this? <laughs> Can we do this? Oh no, the recommended level for the skirmish is 16. What level are we? Inspect forces. What level are we? Do we even know our level? Oh, we can bolster with money. No, we're level four. Yes, sir. We're not doing that stuff. I don't know how to level. Maybe we need to do the other skirmishes and the other easier skirmishes in the other areas, but I don't know. Let's see. Is this it? No, that's just a. Pig Piggy Longsword. Hey, that sounds good. Pig Piggy Longsword. It is very good. Very, very good. Higgledy Balls heal uh, HP a little. A little. Slight damage boost versus dragons. I'll take that. And Evan can take... The one we left behind. You can take the Windy Wolf from and the Burning Wolf from. Roland can move up his weakest sword to... Zingate charges a bit more quickly to this. And Breezy Shamshir to Blunt Wolf from. Is that worth it? 51 to 27. 56 to 21. I think this is more worth for Evan because he has actual spells. So that's it. Alright, 
Is that the... Oh, yeah, it's shiny. You obtained a red, red rose. Hmm. So this is a red, red rose. Mm-hmm. And it though. I reckon so, yeah. Let's get it back to Bodley before she throws a proper strop, shall we? It, is this really a dead end? Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Can't we, can't we drop down? <gasps> Please? Can we drop down here? Is this a place we can drop down from? Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. It took me a solid three minutes before I remembered you could just teleport here. <laughs> I've been playing too many traditional RPGs, JRPGs. Like the one that really has you backtracking all over the place kind of game. All right, Miss Bodley. Well, uh, did you find a red, red rose for your Bodley Wadley Woo? Here you go. You hand the red, red rose to Bodley. Mm, yes. This is it. This is it. Wonderful. Mm, magical. Mm, beautiful. So red. So red. Almost too red. Bodley, calm down. This is what Bodley wanted. Just what Bodley wanted. Mm. Oh, Evan, dear, you are a lovely boy. A special boy. Yes. Bodley hasn't been so happy in, oh, centuries. You look centuries old, too. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for you to do me second little favorite wavery woo. It will be dangerous. Yes, very dangerous. Ooh. Have you heard of incineraptors? Fiery wiry, horrible hot dragons. Hey, I just got a sword that deals bonus damage to dragons. Horrible. Hmm, I want an incerapti incineraptor's horn. Yes, it's horny warny woo. And you know what? You'll need to do to get it, don't ya? Yes, you'll have to hit one. Hurt it. Beat it black and blue. <laughs> Puh. Them the lousy lizards just make their homes over the Cloud Coil Canyon way. Ah, who knows where to find them? Well enough. And we knows Oh, we knows where to find them, and we knows to steer well clear. The fiends the fiends will burn you at a crisp as soon as they look at you. Oh. Noisy man, nasty man, stupid, cowardly, hairy man. Use a watery spell, yes. Kills them just like that, yes. Simple. Huh. Exploit their weaknesses, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. I think we might be able to de develop something along those lines back home. Why don't we give it a shot? Oh, more development. Is this just an extended tutorial? Don't care what you do, but bring it, yes? Bring me a horny, 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 woo! Here, present for you. A secret supplement. Steroids? What's this? Don't know what's in it, but you'll need it. Bodily can tell. Mm. All natural, all wonderful, all powerful serum for silky smooth skin and nourishing nutritional niceness. Bodily special secret supplement. Yes! Look, lady, anything with your special secret supplement is not to be trusted. <laughs> Yes, you know what to need it, dear. You know mm, when the time is right. Yes. Uh, sure. The time to do that. What exactly? Um. Huh, I'm sure we'll work it out. All right. Let's away and bag us one of them scaly swabs. I knows the way well enough. Follow me, you dogsy. Skype pirates without a C. Well, they have the sky. Yes. Where is it? Is it actually a key item? Yeah, it's a key item. An important item in the main storyline. Amazing. Okay, so according to the game, the entrance of Cloud Coil is the closest. And I realized that where we're supposed to go is that secret area I showed you guys in the last episode. The one where I was fighting an overleveled ogre. Apparently, that's why they were overleveled because I wasn't supposed to be there yet. Let's go grab this. Let's leave these guys alone. They're only level three. 
that switch to our dragon slaying sword? Might as well get this. Alright. Oops, grab this. Wee! I think we should be able to do this without dying now. I almost forgot he could do that. Target this guy! Game, why are you targeting someone that's not in front of me? Please just die. Do I really only have two sword ways? Ah, damn it. I think we can kill it before he dies. There we go. Nice. Okay, we can finally start fighting the small guys. All right. But seriously, do we only have two? We only have two store aways? Yeah, we only have one store away. We should have bought some store away from the store. All right. So we've been here before, but apparently there's a mission down here. Wait, wasn't I meant to research a, a spell It had something to do with water? Okay, whatever. Let, let's try... Let's try finding one without the recommended water skill. Incineraptor is given to showing their ugly mugs at the top of their cliff. They have a taste for carrion and crow's eggs, see? And that's when then squawk... And that's where the squawkers make their nests. But how do we get up there? Arr, time I would have shimmied up there quick as he could tie his shoes. But, ah, that was a while back. What about using your f one of your flying contraptions? Be my guest, Roland lad, but you'll think better of it when you're tumbling from the sky your wings ablaze about you. Hey! Look! Prop leafed clover! And it's dead. It needs water. Yeah. Yeah, dead prop leaf clo clover. Ah, and didn't Niall say something about that quick and growth spell not working on dried up plants? No joy there then. But if we could somehow make it young and fresh again, we might be able to use it. Hey, you know what might do just that? Um, what? Oh. Oh, of course. The tonic? I guess? Where, where is it? I... It's on the ground somewhere. Oh, it's... R I, I was looking for the plant on the ground. Where is... It? There is an exclamation mark somewhere... Around... Here. There. For the secret supplement. Yay. Tidy! Tidy as a flipping new man. 
I guess. I should save. <laughs> you know what? Hang on, let me save. Alright, so I tried learning whatever spell I was suggested to learn, but I realized that I had a prior research in the works and I don't really want to wait for it. Hey, can we get up there? Oh, oh okay. So, screw it. Let's try to do this without whatever water spell we were asked to get. I think Evan has a water spell anyway. Maybe we can use that. Anyway, let's try to drop down for this one first. Can we? Yes, we can. Burn guard pendant. Hmm. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Burn guard pendant. We have drip guard. We have dine. What's this? Dark resistance. Yeah, we don't have any fire guards. Well, oh, we do, we do, we do. Uh, no, we have this and this. Um, might as well. Just for this fight. You can have the... The magical burn guard pendant. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that helps. That's literally the entire... That's literally the entire scope of the preparation I'm doing for this fight. Maybe I should put up water sword? Do we have a water sword? No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Do we have a water sword? No, we don't. Do we have a... Water spear? We do. Okay, you can use that one. And what about Evan? Well, Evan's also a sword. Never mind. All right. There he is. Snakes alive! Incineraptor ahoy! Maybe I should use my tactic guards to improve defense against fire. I think that would have been a smart move also. The world's worst worm, Incineraptor. Come on! Come on. That was a good try, my dealer, sir. I'm gonna assume you have a back or you have a front paw attack and a tail attack. Okay, okay, okay. I'm learning a lot of things about this boss today. Are you gonna do that again? Tail whip? Front, front claw, front claw? No, tail whip. Okay. Alright. Oh no, this is... Uh-huh. I would appreciate if my allies didn't take so much damage. Tail attack? No, front attack. Pop, pop, pop. Oh no, tail attack. Okay. Alright. Danny's down. We're two levels under leveled. I'm being quiet because I can't talk. I need to focus. Boss design is really cool, though. Really cool. Like, it didn't go... Here's a fire dragon. It's gonna be all fire. I like how it's half fire, half dragon. Because some games, when they say fire dragon, they literally yeah. just make a dragon made out of fire. And that's so an, an, an elegant a solution. Oh, Tani's still alive. She just has one HP. She's about to die, though. All right. Evan. Oh. 
Now is the time. <laughs> Angels tier? Yeah, we don't need them to have H HP. We need them to deal damage. Come on, greed. More greed. More greed. <laughs> Come on, more greed. More greed. Come on, more greed. More greed. Come on, chain it. Bring him down. Oh no, we weren't able to bring him down again. <laughs> Sometimes greed works. Then I die here and eat my words. Ow, come on, guys. Seriously. What? You know what? Fine, I'll be a good teammate. There we go. I haven't been able to use my Higgledees because this guy keeps sw swacking them off, off balance. Back off? Yeah, back off. Look at Tani walking towards the dragon. <laughs> All right, is this, is this a good call? Will you be able to cast it? I think you will. Yeah, you will. 388 damage, not bad. Guys, I think I'm starting to not suck at the game. What do you think? Comment down in the comments. Comment down in the comments. Where else are they gonna comment, Mr. Caffeinified? Caffeinified commentary. Best of the best. Come on, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it. Okay, he's flying. Oh no, my artillery stopped wanting to be artillery. Why? <laughs> Evan? I don't know why, Evan. Why do you think? Cheese it, cheese it. Come on. We don't need water spells where we're going. I mean, to be fair, I don't think this is like a, a true story boss or whatever, but... I am two levels down on the hardest difficulty. Without the recommended water spell. I'm pretty sure I did okay. I... I like my performance there, okay? Give me that, guys. Give me that. Oh my! An Incineraptor's horn! It's beautiful! Oi! Aye, that is, lad. I have a mind to take it as a trophy for myself. I'd sooner do that than hand it over to that adulterated old crone. I wonder what she wants it for anyway. Only one way to find out. Let's go give it to her. I hope it respawns. I want to fight that guy again. That was a fun fight. Not only because I kind of... You know didn't die that all that's always a positive experience but yeah i didn't know this was here i, I know it kind of looked like i beeline toward it i just saw it at the corner of my eye <laughs> well met traveler show me what you've got give me what i like and i will like you quite a lot hey i know it's talking about them vegetables in it you know the ones that i always eat the yellow bits and leave out the rest you always eat the yellow bits Oh, you eat the yellow bits and threw out the rest. Okay. It's a carrot. That's an interesting way to say carrot. There's no response. Oh, it's not what you want. Huh? Hang on. What 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 is it? What is it? The one where I always eat the yellow bits and leave the and leave the rest. The onion has yellow bits, right? I mean the cabbage is not yellow bits. There's no response. I'm just gonna try all of them. Because Tomatoes are not yellow bits. Those are red bits. 
I don't think we... Might as well. If you, if you guys think that cabbages are yellow... Yeah, it's not the cabbage. Okay, I don't think we have that one yet. Uh, might as well... I'll remember that stone. You obtain a copy of songbook number 13. Damn! So, this, this is interesting because even though the game gives you like the easiest way out from any location in the game, it still kind of rewards you for exploring. Like, if I had just said, okay, we're done with the boss, got out, I would have missed both those things. Um, but I don't want to do this again. Okay, let's go back and let's see what Auntie Martha has to say. No point jump cutting because it's right here. I love that about this game. Everything is right here. Want to go back to to Evermore? It's right there. <laughs> it's one button away. Well, did you bring me an Incineraptor's horny woony woo? Well, here you go. You hand the Incineraptor's horny to Bodley. Oh my. Oh yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna read all of this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So warm, so wonderful. It's heating up my heart like a hotty hot thing. Bodley knew she was right to ask her favorite wavery woos of you. And it's time for the third and final one. I'm basically not going to read all the fluffy, fluffy, f fluffy, fluffy woos. Do me this one last niceness and you'll have a lovely, lovely library card of your very own. Yes. No wonder there's no one else in here. Hang on. No, there's someone else in here. Hang on. Right, oh, let's get to it. What do you need? Need someone with an army. <laughs> Horrible bandit stole my stone. My lovely, lovely stone. Kings have armies, yes. And you're a king. An adorable, teeny, tiny little king. But a king nonetheless. Hmm, use our army. Get it back. My stony woony woo. And how do you explain that to the army? Hey, guys, uh, we gotta go to war. This old, this old lady, she wants her stone back, and we're going to go get it for her. <laughs> mm. I'm not quite sure I'd call what we have an army. Nah, man! Two units is more like a scrum? Oh. Two week, two week, yes! You'll be squished, slaughtered! Are you gonna give me an army? Oh, yes, just remembered! There's a dog man, good doggy! Gouge, yeah! Used to be a good doggy soldier, yes. Make him your good doggy soldier and make your army strong. He'll be in the casino, right. So we have to recruit doggy soldier, which probably means he's gonna have his own side quest. That's, that's fine. This is the person I was talking about. Did you make her? Did you make her do all this? Does she have an army? Do you have an hey army, there. miss? The library has stood in gold pots since ancient times. Work is currently made to excavate the lower levels in search of hidden shows of knowledge. It doesn't answer me. Do you have... Holy crap. That is hidden troves of knowledge. She wasn't kidding. Hey, is there a dungeon down there? Is there a dungeon down there? There's probably a dungeon down there. I'm excited. All right, let's go find Dog Boy and recruit him to become dog soldier this is not the door all right so while i'm walking towards gaojia i'd like to ask if you guys want to see all the side quests possibly maybe i mean i'm gonna do them i, I want i want my town to be as i mean my kingdom to be as powerful as possible but i can do that off camera you guys might not want to see it then again i could make a showcase of it so, I don't know. Let, let me know your preference and I'll decide based on your preference. If no one comments, then I could just show everything for more content. <laughs> Were you always here? Oh, look at that guy. So mad. Excuse me? Are you Gaojia? Bo Bodley told us about you. We were wondering if you'd be able to help us. Go away. Leave me alone. Crikey! I'm not sure our friend by yours is in the mood to talk, Evan. Oh, he's hungry. Flip. 
There is no need to... Hang on a sec. That was his Billy, eh? He's not angry. He's hungry. Starving by the sound of it. I am not hungry. I want to get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Wah. <laughs> No, I cannot pretend any longer. Yes, I am hungry. I am absolutely famished. Oh. Oh, then you better eat something. Is there anything in particular you'd like? We'd be happy to fetch it for you. Then once you've eaten, maybe you'd be willing to listen to what we have to say? Hmm. Very well. Here, you'll need this. You obtain a copy of Fabulous Fairy Tale Fair. The dish I want, I wish to eat, is known as an om nom nomlet. You will find the recipe in this book. Imagine a guy with this face saying, "Om nom nomlet." <laughs> it is a delectable treat that is apparently beyond compare. Unfortunately, it seems that no one in Goldpaw is capable of making one. You are my last hope. Bring me an om nom nomlet, and you will give you to consideration to anything you have to ask of me. Right, oh Evan. Let's head for the kitchen and start cracking some eggs in it. Mm. Yes, let's go back home and talk to Floyd. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Oh, it is a side. It, it's side quest nine. Oh, look. Recommended level 18. I'm level 24. So. I guess I did some things, like I pushed further in some things, but not far enough in the main story. That's what I'm getting. That's the signals the game's telling me. Hey, I, I know you like exploring and stuff, but you gotta get the side, the, the actual main story going, you know? Where's the kitchen again? Also, this fish market is pretty, pretty... Pretty good, actually. I'm wait. I really want to get this town populated, honestly. Oh, you're Floyd, right? Thanks a lot. Look, your majesty, man, majesty. <laughs> I've opened up a fabulous restaurant of my very own, and I owe it all to you. This is the place to call to hone my culinary skills to perfection. I'll be coming up with all sorts of top-class dishes for your de delic delectation. I promise you. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, I love new recipes. Just say the word and I'll whip this up for you. Is there anything you'd like to order? Are you ready to order? Hello, your majesty. Uh, learn more? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. Hmm. D does that mean I can... Yeah, take your time. Can I, can I... St yeah, I can... Oh, so if you have the recipe, he automatically also has the recipe. Okay, okay. No one in Goldpaw has required cookery level 1 for the guy. That's... Can I? Yep. Success! Take Thank time. you. Was there anything else you wanted? No. See ya! Thank you, Mr. Floyd. Let's... No, that is not the right button. Let's set up some... Some tech, because you're already done. Complete research. Research into level 1 spell development has been completed. Let's get to level... Efficient spell development 1. Oh, reducing cost by 20%. That sounds... Sounds good. Actually, maybe we can talk to the, the, the spell girl. To ask about the water spell we should have gotten the first time. Let's research. Cook. He got this for less. That's always a good... Idea, more efficiency is always more better. More better. Huh? <laughs> Let's get our coffers. Hey. Let's get our stores. Why wouldn't want you want to get your stores? You, you just don't like... You just don't want to fill it up, basically. Because if you fill it up to 2020, you're not going to get any more. Oh. I hear that you took the name of this kingdom from an ancient story about a great kingdom. It is very aptly chosen. Did I... Did I lose the opportunity to to learn a water spell? Um Or does or did it mean you could upgrade Yeah, you could have upgraded this because if you head over here you can 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go here and then upgrade this. If you wanted to. But I don't want to. Also, that confirms that Evan is our mage even though he has a sword. Because he has so much spell lines and the others only have their element. Like, Roland barely even has anything. Alright, let's go back to Goldpaw. What? Are we? Well, <laughs> I love these things. Oh yeah, we are in front of the casino. Here's your level one dish that no one could cook, apparently, my good sir. Hey, Van! Come on, Evan, let's fetch him a nice om nom nomlet and shut up that stomach of his. Yes, we have it. You handed over the om nom nomlet. <gasps> this aroma. Here you are. I brought you an om nom nomlet. Such wonderful golden goodness. Pan fried to perfection. Compliments to the chef. Such simple ingredients and yet he has done such so much with them. My taste buds now know true happiness. Tell me, does the culinary genius responsible for this dish reside in your kingdom? Thanks. The narrator is voicing this guy. That was the narrator saying thanks. It has been years since I tasted anything so delicious. Thank you. And please forgive me for my terrible rudeness early on. Ever since I lost the use of my good arm on the field of battle, I have found myself with little to live for. Until now, that is. The dish you brought me has filled me with the joy of living again. I am truly grateful. So, will you come and help us? Yes. Of course. I may no longer be the warrior I once was, but I will gladly share what wisdom remains to me if it might serve your kingdom. Imagine that. Generals wanted for hire. Payment, one really good dish of your choice. You said you were intending to take on a gang of thieves, yes? What forces do you have at your disposal? Pirates. Hmm. We have swordsmen and archers ready to deploy. Mm. Mm. I fear a mere two units may be insufficient. Very well, it is time for your first lesson in tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. An army is most effective when it has at least four distinct units to which to maneuver. It is with such a force that all my greatest victories were won. Uh -huh. But you're right, we can't do that if we don't have the manpower. So where are we going to find the fighters we need? <laughs> do you forget the warriors of Goldpaw? There are plenty in this very kingdom who had the courage and the talent you require. Begin with Bygone. Bygone. And Minty. <laughs> Bygone and Minty. Okay, <laughs> mention my name and they will be sure to join you. What's Gauja then? Gouger? I guess it's Gouger. <laughs> Both have a number of soldiers under their command. Come to an agreement with them and you will be able to call upon their forces in battle. May fortune favor you in your search. Hmm. But does that mean Goldpaw soldiers are all for hire and they don't actually have an army? Or maybe these two guys are just... They just have their own private armies. I don't know, man. Wait, Gauja, please. Why don't you come and join us in our kingdom? I'm sure everyone would feel much safer with you around. Uh, let me think. I will join you. But only if you promise that there are yet more delicious dishes awaiting me there. Mm. Oh, there definitely will be. Thank you so much, Gauja. Gauja. It's Gauja. This game is te teaching me British. Like straight up, I'm learning British from this game by saying that quote unquote Chinese names. Gauja is now a citizen of Evermore. All right, let's our let's get our recruiting hats on and get these two soldiers so and so's on board, shall we? 
Do we have other names we can read? We're Evan, that's rude, but okay. Welcome. Bell Bellboys come. What? Welcome. Bellboy. Okay. I know what it means, it's just... I've been watching a lot of Jimmy here, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get both these guys in one episode. Is that... is it you? Yeah, it's you. Hmm? Bygone. <laughs> hmm, what would a young pup like you want with one as long in the tooth as I? Oh, so Gao Jia told you about me. I see. That is something of a surprise. He is normally as tight-lipped as a hound as a person could hope to meet. You must have something special about you to have encouraged one such as he to open up. Mm. And you say that he has told you to recruit me to your cause. Very well, but on one condition. You must first defeat three Grim Chiller Bangers. Come, come. There is no need to look so appalled. It is hardly much to ask. In fact, I'm sure you'll be back here to tell me of your success in no time. Aren't those the really low level ones? Can we can we get both of the missions at the same time? I think we can. Hang on, let's see what this other guy wants so we can get them in one fell swoop. Oh, I'm I'm trying to open the map like Mary Skelter Nightmares. Holy crap. I mean Mary Skelter 2. Oh, okay, it's really down there. Alright, here's the other one, and she's kinda cute. Hmm? Minty? <laughs> yes, that's me. What do you want? If you wish me to go hunting for you, you should know that my services do not come cheap. Hmm, you want me to join you in your kingdom? <laughs> you must be very short of people indeed if you have to ask mere hunting dogs for help. Wait, Gao Jia told me about me? Yes. I did hear that he had become the military advisor of some new kingdom. That was fast. That literally happened like three minutes ago. Huh, I owe him a debt of honor. Perhaps this would be a way to repay it. There is, however, one thing I would like you to do before I agree to join yes. you. It is a simple request, I promise. All I ask is for a simple, single sleep be gone. Don't we already have that? Yeah, we, we legit have that. And she's gonna give me green thread for the other girl. Yeah. Yeah, we have four of them. You handed over the sleep begone. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you brought me the sleep begone I requested. Thank you. I cannot tell you how difficult I have been finding to rise in some mornings. You, you literally wanted an alarm clock. But no longer! I can assure you that there will be no more ever- No more oversleeping once I am in Evermore. You didn't have money to buy your own alarm clock? That is- There's something wrong with this line. Not least because I am champing at the bit to head into battle once again. It has been too long! Oh, she actually wants to. That's why it's easy. Okay. Do be sure to call me when you need me. You will soon learn that I never miss my mark. All right. Minty has joined you in Evermore along with the Howling Hunters unit. Also, she gave us grass green thread. That means we don't need to make our own grass green thread. For that other girl. I think that other girl is up here. Well, not up here. I got distracted by a classic cabbage. No, she's not up here. She's somewhere here. I think that's her. That's her. She wants a green See thread. You. Yep. You handed over the spool of grass green thread. Oh, the thread you carry. Is it for me, King Evan? Mm. Of course. And if I give it to you, you'll come to my kingdom, won't you? Well, straight to the point there, Evan. <laughs> oh yes, the binding third represents a bond of loyalty that can never be broken. Thank you, oh thank you. I will serve you for as long as you wish it, your majesty. Or should I say, Ojo-sama. 
what does she have? Oh, she's good at the factory thing. A nifty nibble fingered nizza can help boost work at the outfitters. Okay. I'll take it. Yes. Okay, she can vouch and then let's go kill some uh wh whatever that guy wanted me to kill in the episode. All right, we're back. Whoa. Well, well, it seems my condition was met. I hope you understand that I was not testing your strength. I was simply making sure that you truly do wish for me to join you. And now that I have done just that, I shall head for your kingdom immediately. Though I suppose I should introduce myself first. Let me show you what I can do! Calm down. I am bygone, as you know. And though I may look a little long in the two, I can still teach this young pups a lesson or two. A deep knowledge of dog warfare. Well, I'd be surprised if it wasn't dog warfare oh, he was good at. In. That's four commanding officers now, eh? The makings of a tiny little army, if you ask me. Yes, let's go and see Bodley. We have some bandits to hunt down. Well, we can hunt down bandits in the next episode. So, if you want to see more, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys when Evan is done cleaning his shirt.